The NEB AFL Draft Combine is the last chance for draft hopefuls to prove themselves in the eyes of recruiters. For those on the fringe, testing well will be the difference between realising their dreams and missing out. For others, just being fit for the Combine is the challenge. been 19 weeks since the surgery and um, yeah it's starting to look good. I, I lost a lot of muscle after surgery so it's pretty good seeing it starting to come back. Here we've got the medial repair there. Um, this one on the top is where they got the quad graft to put in as my new ACL. That's where they put it in and then um, we've got the lateral meniscus there. About a week ago I started running for the first time. Very exciting time and can't wait to get going a bit more. From their family home, Brooke and Marnie King reflect on the journey and the extraordinary bond their two boys share. Teaching them at a young age, it was always just to enjoy it and have fun with it. So whenever you wanted to have a kick, we'd have one, which unfortunately meant most nights with those two. I know with Max's injury that it shook Ben to the absolute core, to the point where he'd sort of lost himself a little bit. He sort of was really trying to find himself and how he was meant to be in this new environment where he hasn't got his mate. So it was a, a really unusual time for Ben. Looking back on it, I linked my performance that day to Max going down. I think I used it as a motivator throughout the game to kind of push through because I know he'd give anything to be out there. So I just kind of cherish playing football out there. The fact that people just refer to us as the King Twins, it's something that we've had all the way through junior footy and I guess we're used to it. I'm proud to be Ben's twin and yeah, that label is something that's probably going to stick with us for a while. We love getting referred to as the King Twins and yeah, we thrive on the fact that we've, we've both built that reputation and it's not just one of us carrying the load, so we enjoy it. I've helped Max through his rehab probably in pretty simple ways, like when he heads off to the gym to do rehab, I try and get there as much as possible and just be around him. I do my own workout when he's doing his rehab just so he's got someone to talk to and doesn't feel too alone in the process. Ben's always been the first one to be by my side and yeah, he's definitely helped me through, through a lot of dark times so I, I can't thank him enough for being there. Meanwhile, Jack Bytel is deep into his own rehab. Whilst his elbow is healed, his back is worsened. He is now in a race to recover before pre-draft medical testing. Coming into the year, I, I was had a good pre-season, solid pre-season, um, and then kind of had a bit of back niggles. Um, I never thought anything of it, and then one night at Vic Metro during training, my back got a bit tight, so they just sent me to get a scan, and yeah, got the scan, and it come back with back stress fractures. I've got it taped up right now, it's a bit stiff, but yeah, that will come good. Now with my bulge disc, it's going to take time, and, and I've come to realise that. Jack finished school at Maribyrnong College last year, though the school remains open to him as he works through his injury and processes the challenges of his draft year. People here are probably the best people I know in terms of they've always got time for you and, and you can always come back to them, so that's what helps as well. Jack knows his best is good enough. Before playing with injuries, he produced a stunning 37 disposal game as captain of Calder and kicked a match-turning fourth quarter goal. It's probably something I hold my hat on. I can remember that day and, and what I can play footy like. So it's always good to come back to that. The National Combine is an information sharing exercise so that we can test the players physically and also mentally to be able to provide the AFL clubs with all the relevant information so that when they go to the draft, they can be armed um, with what's necessary to make really informed decisions. For recruiters, the Combine is the final piece of the draft puzzle. Due to their injuries, Max and Jack won't be testing. 
I was pretty disappointed knowing I, I can't do it. And it's something you see as a, as a young kid and you're like, I, I want to do that. And I had my sights set on it for a while. With my back, I've learnt with resilience and all that to take the good with the bad. And it's, it's out of my control. They're long days and it's, um, you know, it's pretty tough just sitting around and not doing much all day. But um, you know, that's just a, a part of being injured. And um, I definitely won't be too jealous when they're running a 2K time trial tomorrow. But... They watch on as Ben and Sam are put through their paces. For his size, Ben King's athleticism is striking. To be able to jump and run like they do, it's pretty special. So I think he did real well in his 20 metre for a big fella. In the 20 metre sprint test, Ben runs a time of 2.96 seconds. Remarkably, ninth overall for the combine. For a player over 200 centimetres, this is deemed elite. Meanwhile, Sam Walsh has set his sights on breaking the combine record of 22.4 for the brutal endurance test, known as the yo-yo. One by one, his opponents fall away until only Sam remains. Sam pushes himself to his limit, reaching levels 20, 21, 22. He's now matched his personal best of 22-1. But can go no further, agonizingly close to the record. Yeah, I got a PB, which was good. 17. So I'm um, pretty happy with that. And I'm sort of around, got around the mark in agility and sort of my jumping, I've sort of improved sort of the power in the legs. So. Yeah, it was good. It's been pretty grueling, like mentally more than physically, just with club interviews Change and to media interviews 15. and stuff, so it's good to get out here and have a run. For many, the race for the number one pick is now down to two people. Sam Walsh, or the boy some describe as the next Nick Revolt, South Australian Jack Lukosius. I think there's about 10, 15 guys in, you know, at the top of the draft who are, you know, who are definitely deserving of of having their name read out really early and I'm sure whichever club has the first pick, they're gonna get a really, really good player and a good person. The tests are over. The matches are complete. From here, there is nothing left to do but wait.